Hi everybody, it's Wanda. Have all these colors left over I've been playing with in the last day or two. And um, I'm gonna do it as an open cup. So I'm going to put down a little puddle um, of white. I have used some silicone in white in the last couple of days, so I hope that's not one of them. Um, because I really don't care about having silicone in it. So here is my, I'll give you my colors after I decide what I'm doing. I think I'm going to add this first. And this is phthalo turquoise. Hope the white kind of fades that out. Have a little chroma gold. It's not floating, is it? <laughs> um, this is Anita's Hyacinth. Pretty color. This is... I hope this doesn't mess it up. This is Apple Barrel Key West. It's gonna sink. This is Master's Touch Ocean Green. I know these are some weird colors. That's okay. Try a little bit more gold on top. I think I see it starting to ooze out under there. So, Hope I don't have way too much paint, which I might have. I don't want that big circle. Let's see what happens. My gold sunk in the middle, I think. I have too much paint. Ooh, that gold blended in with that um, prism violet. That first color that I put in, that dark one. That was prism violet by Liquitex Basics.
See if I can spread that gold out a little bit. Okay. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, the white was uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol. All these paints are one part paint, two parts Floetrol. I have Liquitex Prism Violet. I have Anita's Hyacinth. I have Chroma Dorado Gold. I have Daler Rowney uh, Turquoise, Phalo Turquoise. I have Apple Barrel Key West and Master's Touch Ocean Green. have all those colors in there. And no black, and I really intended to put some black, but actually with that dark prism violet, I don't think I really needed it because I still got contrast. So, I think I'm kind of happy with this one. I'm not in love with this right in here, but I don't really know how to do anything about that. And um, I don't really want to blow out my edges because that wasn't really the look that I was going for. So, I think I'm just going to leave it. I will take the camera down and give you a close-up. Thanks for watching. So this is how it looks from up top. Um, I don't even know where that dark came from. It must be from the Phalo Turquoise and it went kind of gray on me. It's not as dark in person as it is in the camera. But um, the Prism Violet did a great job of lacing and putting some contrast in there. Even though I have a weird open mouth fishy thing right there. Um, the gold ended up spreading out some. And looking sort of lacy down in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, it looks more pink in person than it looks lavender in the camera. So I'm going to be kind of interested to see how that dries. There's some more of that violet that did some of the lacing. And down in here, it looks pretty cool. So that's how it turned out. First time I've done one of these in a long, long time. That's how the edges look. Um, so let me know what you think. Make a comment. I thank you for watching. I appreciate all my new subscribers. I invite you to come back, spend a little time with me, see what it is that I'm up to next time because I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time. Just a fair warning. <laughs> so have a good day. Thank you.